Hello guys, this is Pawan from Ambedu Tronics. As you already know that we have started uh, ESP IDF tutorial. So here in this video tutorial, I will tell you how we can add component. What is component basically? And uh, uh, apart from that, uh, I will tell. Uh, I'll also tell you how we can add any file in our project folder, any new file. So. Uh, component is nothing but just uh, your uh, uh, you have your own code uh, whatever you have written and it is in separate file then you want to make uh, you want to save uh, that file in this workspace as a component then you can uh, you can create component otherwise you can also uh, also include that file in the source folder itself but my, my suggestion would be any file whatever you are downloading from any external source uh, or github or somewhere though for those file you can create component and uh, whatever the files you have or you have created by yourself or you just wrote your own piece of code you just uh, include that file in your source folder so first we'll start with component so how to add a component let's uh, get started so first go to file and uh, just create one project a specified idea project and here just uh, give one name uh, let's say uh, you want to uh, project new one project I have given the name of game so don't select here uh, any template so we'll create a blank project so this is our blank project now here we have the main file and now what I want to do I want to add one component for this file so for that what will you do you will just go to file and go to new and just go to expressive IDF component and give it a name just uh, give project new component and uh, project name uh, there are two projects uh, blink is closed project uh, but uh, it is still showing so don't select that or uh, by default that's why it's selected project new so project new component and finish so here it will say executing action create component the component was created in this uh, path so ok so here we have the component folder now and here we have the project new component here you can see the include file project new component dot h and then we have the project new component dot c so just uh, uh, one one now what we need to do we need to just uh, call this uh, we, we have to print something here we can print so so that we can print through our main file so print f uh, this is component this is a component okay slash n so this thing I have just printed one statement and now this uh, this void function we will just go to component dot h you can give any other name so it's already included so void function just change the name so you can give component function this name you can give and copy this and paste it here so here also uh, that, that, that is a declaration part in project new component dot h now this is component and here in this main dot c here in this main dot c you just get rid of this thing and uh, no event handler as well now here you need to give b task delay is already there so here just call that function and our function is component function so component function I am calling 
and we dash delay 300 or tick period milliseconds so 300 millisecond delay uh, you can give 600 and uh, now what we need to do we need to just go through cmake.list file so here already project new component.c is in sources uh, so no need to do anything we will just build this now uh, let's build this uh, before building one thing I uh, just missed what you need to do you need to include that file as well so include project new component dot h whatever the uh, 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 this thing is there this thing you need to basically copy I have written already so this is the thing you need to do so let it build uh, I'll just pause the video for a while So here I think uh, we have got some error. So implicit declaration of function component. Uh, I think I included a bit late. That's why this error we are getting. Okay, no issue. Let's rebuild it. This while true. So yes that was the reason so now uh, there is no error in my code so here you can see while to component function component function it will go to the component folder and on uh, that particular file it will just jump component function this is a component uh, so let's just uh, let me just connect my uh, USB USB 32 now now let me uh, add my connect my usb uh, esp32 so it's connected now and we will just dump this code to our esp32 oh i think my com port is open Okay, so again we will return it's uploaded now we will just uh, see the output in our dock light so this is a component it is printing so yes uh, our component is linked with our source folder and source file so this is our first way now in the second way uh, what i'll do i'll again make one more project so i'll just close this project and i'll just uh, create one more project a specified if project and give project give it a name new project let's say go to next and we don't need to select any template and here uh, what will we do now in this main again we will just get rid of this thing we don't need these we just uh, need to demonstrate uh, the same thing what what we have we got through our component the last code so what i will do i will just I'll just go to main and I'll, I'll include one new file cc source file and I'll give a name as new file new dot c finish and the same way I'll include header file 
and this is new dot h so now here in new dot c what we need to do we need to just uh, include and uh, write our own uh, our function so first we'll include hash include studio studio dot h hash include new dot h and uh, here we will just write one function void print statement void printf this is a new file slash n so now what I'll do, I'll just uh, uh, this printf statement. This is a new file. We'll print through our main.c. So go to main.c and just call that function. So that function name we need to. This is a function name print statement. So we'll copy here and call it from this and we also will include new dot h and we will also call this declare this function name now we will just build this so again it will take a few minutes so i'll just pause the video for a while and i'll come back so we got some error here so just go to the error implicit declaration of function print statement okay print statement is here new dot h which included this is not saved maybe that's why the error came yes that was the reason new dot h was not saved Okay, no. Okay. In this new dot h, we need to include. No, no, no. New dot h we don't need to include anything. New dot c we need to include and it's included. Okay, so uh, now I got uh, the thing why the errors are coming. Basically, in CMake list, uh, uh, it's not recognizing uh, the new uh, what the, this new file which we have created. So we need to uh, in component source we need to include that. So include new dot c and save it. Now you won't get any error, uh, I think. So. Oh, but again it will take that uh, it will compile all the dependencies so okay uh, let's pause the video for a while and let's see 
so it's about to complete building com configuration active configuration so C C plus indexer now here is our main dot C so here you can see there is no error it is showing now so okay let's upload the code uh, first let it be finish okay so we'll upload the code we'll open our dock light also so upload upload uploaded is completed now we'll just run this and here you can see the message this is a new file so this way we can say first uh, i just told you how to add a component and now how to add a file uh, without component uh, in that same source folder so these are the two ways uh, you can add your source files so i hope you like this tutorial if you have any doubt regarding this feel free to uh, comment us below Thank you guys, thank you very much.